to introduce a new project to you today for the very first time, um, because this is the inaugural edition of the Multitude Archives and Discourse Series. It's presented by the Multitude Foundation and the Wuhan Art Terminus, and its uh, 2013 uh, institutional partner is UCCA. So what is the Multitude Art Prize? It's an art prize for artists all around Asia, it aims to create a sustainable platform for dialogue from between different regions of Asia and to explore the relevance of art in different geopolitical contexts. But what is Asia? It's a vast territory consisting of regions, each with their own cultural roots and histories, and consequently with different versions of what is contemporary. Therefore, the Multi Art Prize shall travel to a different region of Asia each year, partnering with local institutions 
and creating the Art Prize project in collaboration with those institutions. The regions we travel to shall form the backdrop to our annual conference. There shall be five winners each year, one artist from each of the following regions. China, East Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and West Asia, including Central Asia. Last but not least, why multitude? As Phil Tenari just mentioned, multitude is a term coined by the philosophers Antonio Negri and Michael Hart that describes the potentiality of peoples in different contexts regardless of their social status or cultural background. Artists are such a multitude, and how their artwork articulates potential or relevance in different Asian contexts is a fascinating uh, subject to explore. I want to introduce the two co-presenting institutions of the Multitude Art Prize, but before I do so, I want to extend my most sincere gratitude to UCCA for being our institutional partner for this inaugural edition. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Xuemei, and the UCCA team who have been amazing in helping every aspect of this project. Thank you. I also want to thank Lancia Nationale, the European Museum Network consisting of some of the most important modern and contemporary museums across Europe. You're to for being our discourse partner for this inaugural edition. So thank you for your support and your participation has given this project a real lift. Thank you. Now the Multitude Art Prize was initiated by the Multitude Foundation approximately 15 months ago. The Multitude Foundation is a registered charitable foundation in Hong Kong founded in 2011. Its remit is to support Asian contemporary artists and engage with young people through creative projects important for their development. The Multitude Art Prize is the first major undertaking of the Multitude Foundation. However, the Multitude Foundation will develop a whole range of other projects such as Multitude Projects, which will commission uh, contemporary artists around Asia to create new work, and Multitude Communities, which will work with young people from less privileged backgrounds to excite their imaginations and aspirations through art. Now, the Wuhan Art Terminus, or WAT for short, is a contemporary art centre currently being developed in Wuhan. Located on the site of Wuhan's most important historical railway station, WAT takes inspiration from the idea of the Terminus, a place that both sends out and receives people and their ideas. By basing projects on international collaboration and the investigation of contemporary issues, WAT endeavours to create experimental projects both in Wuhan and around the world. So what is a Wuhan Dingyun, Dingyun project and is scheduled to open in 2014 next year? Wuhan Dingyun is a cultural development company that's based in Wuhan initiating a number of cultural projects including the Wuhan Art Terminus. On the screen we can see another project by Wuhan Dingyun in development, the, the Dingyun Artist Village. So now I would like to invite um, Bill Condon, Chairman of the, found, the Multitude Foundation, to say a few words. Well, welcome Bill. Thank you, Colin. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's a great pleasure and honor for me to launch the Multitude Art Prize in Beijing today. Um, Beijing holds a very special place in my heart. I've been coming here since the mid-90s, and I lived here for two years from 1999 onwards, um, and two very memorable years. And it was during that time that um, my interest in contemporary art was, was really peaked. But um, I've got a lot of people to thank here today, um, so, and I promise I won't, I won't take too long. But first of all, I'd like to thank all the artists who are the real heroes here today. Um, and we've got them all with us. They'll all be introduced to you um, very shortly. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank UCCA, um, our host for this event, Phil Tinnery, May Shu, and your amazing staff. Um, it's, it's just been a great privilege to work with you and uh, I can safely say I couldn't have done this without you, so, so thank you. Um, I'd also like to um, extend my heartfelt thanks to um, the European Museum Network L'Internationale. We're very honoured to have them um, and to have their support. And of course to all the curators and scholars who have made a commitment to be here for tomorrow's conference. Um, you know, again, we're really appreciative because it really gives us a, a very solid foundation. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to thank our partner curators who have been working very hard with Colin to um, conceptualise the project. 
And I'd like to pay a special tribute and expend a very special thanks to Wuhan Art Terminus, what? And all the staff at Wuhan Ding Yun, um, and particularly Mrs. Lynn Moru, who has shown great courage in co-presenting our inaugural pro project. So thank you, Mrs. Lynn. Um, last but not least, another hero here today, um, Colin Chinnery. Colin has put the project together and it's been a great personal pleasure to have the opportunity to work with Colin. He's um, added a whole new dimension to it. Um, the high standard of work and the intellectual relevance of the conversations that set the scene for tomorrow's conference form a very solid foundation for the journey that lies ahead as the Multitude Art Prize and Discourse Series develops new platforms throughout Asia. And lastly, I would just like to say that we are embarking on a very exciting journey, and probably a challenging journey, and so we will really need your continued support. So thank you. Thank you very much, Phil. Um, next, I would like to invite uh, the founder of Wuhan Dingyun and Wuhan Art Terminus, Ms. Limoru, to take the stage. Thank you. Welcome, Ms. Limoru. Ladies and gentlemen, artists, curators, and friends from the media, good afternoon. First, I'd like to thank you for coming on behalf of Wuhan Dingyun and Wuhan Art Terminus. Before starting the projects of Wuhan Art Terminus and Wuhan Dingyun, I've been passionate about Chinese contemporary art for years. And also, um, I think that the contemporary art should not be limited to any uh, spe uh, one specific region. And its energy comes from its openness. But there is always, there will always be obstacles and boundaries, such as language, cultural difference, or money problems. We can see the contemporary market open the contemporary um, the original limits of art market can be broken by art fairs, but it's harder to make real through a bit breakthrough in the academic area. The aim of the Multitude Art Prize is to establish a platform for communication exchange of ideas. And the, the moving projects like this gives us a um, long-term base to uh, make efforts and make a real difference. Wuhan Yishu Gongzhan and Jiqun Jijinhui 
，我们的合作正是希望，也相信，集群艺术奖是一个有针对性、突破、尝试的项目。Um, the collaboration、uh, with Multitude Foundation of the Wuhan Art Terminus is based on the common belief that the Multitude Art Prize will be a project that can make a real difference. So, today we see the exhibition, you will be able to feel this. It is from a completely different thinking style. The next debate will be more exciting. This is exemplified by all the artworks shown here in the exhibition hall. Um, all the works come from different ways of thinking, and I'm also very looking forward to tomorrow's uh, symposium. So, I want to thank the Multitude Foundation for the initiation of such a great project. It has a, uh, it it will be a significant um, project project for the development of contemporary art, and also the collaboration between the Wuhan Terminus and a multitude foundation will also be um, a long term um, run. 感谢尤伦斯当代艺术中心作为集群艺术奖的二零一三年合作伙伴，我们的合作非常愉快，谢谢你们。I would like to thank um, UCCA for being the institutional partner for the 2013 Multitude Art Prize. We had very um, um, pleasing, uh, very great um, collaboration. Thank you to the the 今年获奖的艺术家，谢谢你们精彩的作品。Thank and I would also like to thank uh, our speak, uh, guest speakers from all around the world. Thank you for coming to Beijing and communicate with us, including、uh, I will and also I would like to thank our、uh, partner curators.、Um, and I especially I would especially like to congratulate late the winning art, artists. Of, this year, you made wonderful words. 当然，我要感谢武汉艺术总站站长，集群呃艺术奖的策展人、策划人秦思源先生，你带领的鼎韵团队，辛苦了。当然，我们是自己人，就不用客气，辛苦，谢谢。Of course, um, I would I would also like to thank the director of uh Multitude Art Prize. Uh, Colin Chinnery, but we're a team, so thank you. Um, next, I want to uh, introduce. Uh, well, thank you very much, Mrs. Lin.、Um, it's it's. I have to say that's a real、um, privilege、uh, for me to have two such pleasant. Understanding, supportive bosses. It really makes a difference in the world. <laughs> so next, I would like to、um, introduce our partner curators, who helped me to turn what was just an idea into a real project that we have today.、Um, next, we're going to have some quick, quick introductions.、Um, so Gao Shiming, who will be familiar to many of you、uh, here, is executive director of the School of Intermediate Art. Of the China Academy of Art in Hangzhou, Kate Bao, who is chief curator,、um, recently appointed chief curator at the Garrett Center of Contemporary Culture in Moscow, and director at large for the Independent Curators International (ICI) in New York. I have to also say that Kate was also a part of the team with me.、Um, uh, that was a founding one of the founding members of the team that、uh, Phil mentioned at the beginning.、Um, Mami Kajoka, the chief curator at the Mori Art Museum in Tokyo, and Philippe Perrot, adjunct senior curator at the University of California Berkeley Art, Art, Art Berkeley Art Museum and the Pacific Film Archive, and recently appointed program director at the Sifang Art Museum in Nanjing. So I'm very happy to say that, except for Gao Shiming who couldn't make it today, all the other curators are here with us today. So if any of the media would like to speak to them.、Um, 
that'd be great. Now, the most important element of any art prize project in selecting the artists, of course, is the jury. Now, we invited a jury of leading curators from Asia and Europe, representing a diverse range of perspectives to select five artists from a long list of 36. The jury are uh, Zdenka Badovinac. Sorry. Jack, you should be honored I called you Zdenka. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. Okay. Ja um, Next on my list is um, Patrick D. Flores, who is Professor of Art Studies at the University of Philippines and Curator at the Vargas Museum in Manila, also Adjunct Curator at the National Art Gallery in Singapore. Uh, November Painter, who is Associate Director of Research and Programs at SALT in Istanbul. Jack Persekian, yes. Head Curator of uh, the Palestinian Museum in Jerusalem, which will hopefully so which will be opening next year, and founder and director of Anadiel Gallery and the Al Mamal Foundation for Contemporary Art in Jerusalem, and Ravi Sundaram, a fellow at the Center for the Study of Developing Societies in New Delhi, and co-founder of Sarai, research program on media in New Delhi. So I would like now to invite the members of the jury to the stage to say a few words, if that's okay. So welcome the members of the jury. Please come. with Zdenka. Um, I just really want to see how everybody feels about the project, just just general um, feelings, because we've been talking about it for over a year now, and uh, from just an idea, and now it's become um, a real project with artists that you selected. Um, so just a few words of um, anything. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. I'm very happy to, to be here, um, to uh, be present when uh, uh, utopia becomes a reality. When we first talked, it, uh, it was more than a year ago about the uh, multitude. It looked like really uh, very, you know, ambitious, but very difficult to realize uh, project. Um, so I think it's a very important project for all uh, Asia, uh, which is uh, becoming more visible in terms of a common a space common in terms of more in terms of potentiality than in terms of common cultural space. So uh, congratulations! It's really a pleasure to be part of uh, the jury, and it was a great opportunity to me to learn about Asia art more uh, through the documentation and through working in the jury. Thank you. November, would you say a few words? Um, again, thank you so much for the invitation. Uh, it's a real honour to be on this jury. I'd just like to say that the, the quality of all the nominations was extremely impressive, and I know for me personally it was a very hard decision of who to select. And I went back and forth a few times and we had a few conversations about it. Um, and I'd like to add that I think it's really encouraging and ex inspiring that the uh, Multitude Foundation is looking at Asia in the broadest possible sense. Uh, for me, Hazar um, Bazoo from Turkey are here, which I'm really excited about, and I think it's a great opportunity for future collaborations in terms of broadening the sphere of what is Asia and how we can talk together. Jack. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a great honor and privilege to be part of the group, to be part of the jury, and to collaborate with your uh, very respectful institutions. <laughs> In addition, of course, to what my colleagues have said, I would just like to add that um, I come here with also a vested interest in the possibility that uh, my region, uh, in the kind of very far west of the of Asia, can be part of this program and can one day, you know, uh, be a host to uh, one of your programs and to the Multitude Art, Art Prize. Thank you, Connor. We will be honored. I'm delighted to be here, and I think this was an idea whose time has come. 
finally. And I'm very glad that it is from Asia that this idea has been reinvented critically. And I'm, it's, a, it's a wonderful pleasure to be part of that critical process. So thank you. Thank you many, many times. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am Patrick. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Phil, uh, Bill, uh, Mrs. Malu, and, uh, and Colin for this invitation and for uh, this opportunity to serve in the, in the jury. Uh, judging the competition, I was struck by the, uh, by the role of the team, multitude, and I think this is a, the most interesting feature in the, in the process, how the team shapes the evaluation of, of the jury. And uh, I think uh, it initiates a good conversation, an interesting conversation between uh, artistic practice on the one hand and uh, theoretical reflection on the other. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, um, all of you, for, for your kind words. And uh, now it's time for me to talk about the artists. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, I really can't stress enough um, how honoured we feel to have people of this calibre um, be involved with our project because it's a new project, um, it's an un unknown project, so uh, this is really a test of faith for, for everyone, especially uh, uh, it's, a te it's a risk for everyone to be involved in such a new project, so thank you for taking a leap of faith with us. So, so the reasons why we're doing this project in the first place is of course the art and the artists. Um, now the inaugural edition of the Multi Art Prize shall present the work of five outstanding artists, each of whom articulates art from a very different perspective. Um, now, I want to introduce the artists one by one. Um, I hope they get the order right. Alfredo and Isabel Aquilazan. Now, the work of husband and wife team Isabel and Alfredo sorry, Aquilazan employs collection and collaboration to express ideas about migration, family, memory, examining the migratory nature of Filipino people like themselves, as well as others who inhabit the diaspora of Southeast Asia and the Pacific Rim. Their artistic practice is focused on installation and sculpture and deals particularly with the complexity of the motion attached to social cultural dislocation and movement. The Quillazans now live and work in Brisbane, Australia. So, the work that is in the multi Art Prize exhibition is Passage, Project Another Country. A passage, Project Another Country, it takes the form of a boat. You'll see that work in the lobby of UCCA. The boat, it mimics a mode of transport that is common means of human migration. The cargo of cardboard houses symbolizes lives being transported to new shores. Next is uh, Rax Media Collective. Consisting of three artists based in Delhi, Rax Media Collective was begun in 1992. Rax names the state of whirling der dervishes enter when they spin. Variously described as artists, curators, writers, editors, catalysts of cultural processes, their work engages with urban spaces and global circuits, pursuing a sense of what it means to lay claim to the world from the streets of Delhi and in a spirit of investigation, imagination and critique. The collective is based at Sarai, the Centre for the Study of Developing Societies, an initiative they co-founded in 2000. Now the works that are in uh, the, the Multitude Art Prize show, uh, first of all, is two, proverb, two Proverbs and a Suggestion, is a suite of large electrically charged metal plexiglass tablets inscribed with three enigmatic phrases about laughter, memory and time. Okay, the next is When the Heart Skips a Beat. Rats Me the Collective describe an electric clock, erratic, running backwards and forwards, skipping beats, announcing the hours of electric orgasms. An afternoon unregistered on the Richter scale. An afternoon unregistered transforms a photo taken of a surveyor's office in Colonial Calcutta in 1911. In a series, in a, through a series of subtle alterations. Um, next is uh, Moon Kyung Won and John Jun Hu. <laughs> 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 
The Moon Kyongwon begins each of her pieces with drawings. Her work examines natural landscapes as well as man's interaction with inhabited space, entailing a political dimension born of the energies people generate amid social con contexts. The work of Jeon Junho frequently uses sculpture, video, painting to express the interpretation of the social environment in Korea. Despite the starting point, his practice retains a universal core based on the contemporary human condition. Both artists live and work in Seoul. Um, and the work in this show is El Film del Mundo, written and work and directed by Moon and John. This 13 minute film takes the form of a documentary about the survival of two artists in a post apocalyptic, I can't say that word, apocalyptic, post apocalyptic environment. I need a drink of water. Its narrative is driven by the dialogue between the characters, while its concept is conveyed via imagery and metaphor. And next is Haza Vuzu. Hazabuzu is um, an artist group, seven people, uh, based in Istanbul. Their artists craft their mode of expression through constructing situations with individuals and groups with whom they forge convivial relations. The interdisciplinary nature of their practice is not only revealed in their oscillation between performance, music and video, but their collaborative structure they create. They have two works in this show. Uh, firstly, the performance, Our Teeth Will Be Snow White. They interact with a collage of images taken from the media by projecting fragmented sentences and words onto them. The sentences' words are de deconstructed so that become, they become pure sound. Now this work shall be performed by Hazavuzu in the Great Hall, next, next to here, uh, just after 6pm today. So we look forward to seeing your performance later. My Ass on Google Earth, a shadow copy of a Boeing aircraft tattoo, finds its place on a Nazi-era landing field in Berlin, like the chalk marks of a crime scene. And Yao Rei Zhong, um, <laughs> Sorry, Yao Rei Zhong, I don't have your notes. <laughs> Uh, Yao Rei Zhong is um, an artist based in Taipei, in Taiwan, and is, very, is a, um, an educator, an artist, and a writer. Um, his work has, uh, he was uh, a representative of Taiwan in the Venice Biennale, and um, he's extremely passionate about um, promoting the work of, of Taiwanese contemporary artists. And before he was an artist, he was a curator, so we actually have quite a lot in common there. Um, the, work, the work in uh, multi Art Prize, Lost Document Society, uh, is, um, is a documentary in the form of field study. Um, Ms. Uh, Yao Rei Jung instigated his students to go back to their homeland, to their hometowns, to document all the buildings that lay derelict uh, as a result of a building boom instigated by the government of Taiwan in the late 1980s and 1990s. And this building boom then didn't meet society's needs and then fell derelict. So Yao Rei Jung got his students to go all up and down Taiwan to document these buildings, hundreds in the numbers. <coughs> and what's very interesting is that as a result of this project that the Taiwanese government is re-evaluating the whole situation of these derelict buildings and is re um, putting money into these projects. And Yara Jung is involved, Yara Jung, the artist, is involved in the process with the government of revitalizing these derelict areas. So now I would like to invite all the artists, all 15 artists, to come on stage and uh, we want to present you with an award. Please welcome the artists. <laughs>
And now um, I would like to invite the chairman of the Multitude Foundation, Mr. Bill Condon, to present the awards to um, three of the, I uh, first have to all have to say. I originally had this project, five winners. I thought it would be five artists. <laughs> I had budget for five airfares and five hotel rooms. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to have such value for money, I have to say. Fifteen artists for the price of five. It's wonderful. What? <clears throat> Getting too emotional. Sorry. All these artists are pushing me off the stage. So now, formally, I would like to invite the uh, chairman of the Multitude Foundation, Bill Condon, to present the prize to uh, Yare Jong, to uh, Moon and John, and also to Isabel and Alfredo Aquilazan. <clears throat> so first to Mr. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. <laughs> and next, I would like to invite the founder of Wuhan Dingyun and Wuhan Art Terminus, Ms. Lin Moru, to come on stage to present the prizes to. 下面我们邀请武汉鼎运和武汉艺术总站的创始人林默如女士为艺术家颁奖 To Rax Media Collective And to Haza Buzu to um, make the artists go through the same process that the jury did. I would like them to say a few words um, about their experience of, of uh, being part of this project. Um, and I'll start on the left. So maybe I'll start with uh, Rax Media Collective and uh, maybe Monica. No, I don't know how they do it, but uh, being in a collective, I find it very useful to actually write down the three lines of seven that uh, we're going to say so that it's, um, my colleagues know exactly what's going to be put out before I say it in front of everyone else. Um, so Hart and Negri have given us a very um, tantalizing goal to change the world without taking power. It's an intriguing challenge and uh, for us it's an amazing thing that this is the title of the prize and this is the challenge that is being presented in the naming of the prize. So if, if we were thinking about this, but the, for us, if the interesting thing is if we think of the present as being the here and the future as being um, there, then uh, we are faced with this simple realization that in the process of reimagining, in a sense, the world, um, the kind of the heart and nature challenge, uh, we have many companions, um, actually, always and already, making the move from here to there and back again. And so, and, and we want to say here that for us, the, I mean, I think not just for us, but um, the artist today is not necessarily the solitary genius, as you have realized. <laughs> but for us, it's uh, the idea of the hub, that the artist is also the hub um, of many, uh, of, of, uh, of a busy network of simultaneous possibilities and realities. And um, we are many, and our name is Legion, and so, yeah, thank you. 
Um, just to finish the thought about the idea from here to there is the, is, is the fact that this, um, the multitude actually is doing this, the, the back and forth from here to there, from the past to the present to the future, all the time already. And um, as artists, I think we are all basically listening in and in recognizing us and giving us this um, honor. Uh, I think you're listening, you're listening to us, listening to the buzz of the multitude and relaying it back, um, back to you. Um, in our childhood, this idea of listening in in that way was called Chinese whispers. So it's kind of interesting to invoke it here. Um, thank you for playing Chinese whispers with us. Next, I'd like to uh, welcome the artist Yao Rei Zhong to say a few words. Uh,我相信就是说艺术本身呢,它除了反映这个社会,啊,提供想象空间之外,它有可能可以透过艺术手段去促进社会改造。那么在执行这个计划之前呢,我们是没有什么把握的。但实际上我们操作完之后发现,
uh, killing based on our it's a post exhibit this conversation expressing about uh, its uh, doubt and uh, its regret over contemporary art. It is double screen film that depict artists and their attitude just before the apocalypse, as well as reverse of art through um, through the revamped aesthetics in the apocalyptic world. So by present and at the beginning, we hope to more closely to uh, more closely examine the social function and the role of contemporary art. Yeah, we are very honored to be here and receive the first multitude art prize. Thank you. 最后非常啊，荣幸能够获得第一届吉星市展馆。嗯， now I want to welcome uh the group Hazabuzu. Thank you. We are very happy to be here. Uh, we love Chinese people. Thanks for inviting. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, we are very happy to come to the stage. We are very happy to come to the stage. We are very happy to come to the stage. We are very happy to come to the stage. We are very happy to come to the stage.